Good evening, folks. This is R with Three Kings Airsoft Albuquerque, and um, tonight we're doing just kind of a loadout review of what I have, and this is King from Three Kings Airsoft Albuquerque. Hello, folks. Say, say something about yourself. Um, all right, so starting from the top down. Okay. Um, I use a mate, uh, Voodoo Tactical ACU. Um, baseball style hat, Velcro strap, and Oakley clear lens safety glasses. Great safety glasses. I believe this was back in the day when Oakleys were not $300. Um, next I have my chest rig. It's a Griffin Golem chest rig. Three mag pouches, um, double stack or triple stack. The trip for the mag pouches, if you put three mags in there, it makes it kind of hard to pull them out, so I just run two in each. And I have my medical kit on here, which I will be, I'll do um, an in-depth kind of explanation as to why I have it on here and what is in there um, later on. Maybe, maybe we might film it tonight sometime, uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, I run just a Shema for face protection and neck, neck protection, just OD green with black um, details on it. A nice. They're like 13 bucks, I think. I pretty looking. Yeah, I run um Snap-on brand mechanics gloves with uh, the fingers cut off. Not a sponsor. It's just the brand I use. Uh, my sidearm is a Black Ops CO2 non-blowback pistol, and that's all I have to say for that. Really about that. Um, if you guys want, put down in the comments if you want to see a more in-depth review on that gun. Um, the, there are two main types of camo that I use. I use um, I use the traditional like woodland tricolor. Um, you might be able to see it. The master sergeant patches from the Air Force. I'm not in the Air Force, nor am I a master sergeant in any branch of the military. This is my dad's shirt. And I just wear it, kind of. Um, you know, because I respect him and in honor of him, I guess. He's not dead or anything, but, you know, just so you know. Um, and then the other type of camouflage that I use is what's called, um, desert chocolate chip camouflage. And, um, you can probably see some of the patches that I have on here, like the 311 TFTS and my American flag. Um, I also have a Marine Corps patch and, uh, 150th fighter wing patch, and, and then we got to represent our state. We got to represent our state, New Mexico. That's the uh, map behind us. The yeah, uh, New Mexican flag, Zia. Um, one of the most important things for airsoft is hydration, and for that, I just use a Camelback hydration carrier. It's not a backpack integrated with a hydration pouch. It's just a hydration pouch and a bladder which is nice, it keeps it kind of lighter, but it does have a little pouch on here. As for my primary weapon, this is a Black Ops Viper M4 with flip-up Rhino sight style sights, and um, I just have a vertical grip on here, and... Oh yeah, um, my, my apologies, it's an angle grip, and I have a surefire flashlight just mounted with a scope ring on here. I'm gonna hand this show over to King here and he's gonna tell you about some other weapons that I use. <coughs> Alright, here we got a matrix sniper with a Chinese uh I don't want to say knockoff but yes it would uh, an A card. Uh pretty good gun, only used it once very small skirmish, but seems reliable. Hurts a lot. Yeah, I got the fucking scar to prove that bitch. Good shot with that motherfucker. And look at bitch. The other gun we have <coughs> is a classic Army Thompson. Pretty snazzy looking gun. Good for uh, winter skirmishes. Uh, thousand round drum mag. This thing is a little LMG. We put down quite a few BBs, 10 range. Uh, only complaint, sights aren't very good. Other than that, good gun. Um, 
the Thompson does not come in that color. Yeah. Um, traditional colors. I it comes in traditional colors or all black. I just painted it that way to use kind of like a winter camo. Thought it was kind of snazzy. Um, a lot of guys that I airsoft with think it was pretty snazzy. I'll try and get some some of the guys that we airsoft with out. Um, those guys are on um, op, uh, New Mexico Op 4 airsoft team. So shout out to you guys. And until next time.